Hi there survivors. In this video I will show you how to tune your motorcycles for maximum speed, maximum acceleration, and the most comfortable riding experience on any terrain. I will explain to you in detail the meaning of each of the parameters, teach you how to do something similar to drifting, and even ride on walls like Ghost Rider. At the end of the video, I will give you a ready-made tuning scheme that I use personally. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and let's start. So first of all you need to understand a few basic things. First, vehicles in Undawn is all-wheel drive. This means that traction is provided by the front and rear wheels simultaneously. But the handbrake affects only the rear ones, and you should remember that. Second, any vehicle has a center of mass, and its position will significantly affect the behavior of this vehicle. Third, tire grip, and this is a key concept. High and stable tire grip has a positive effect on the performance of the motorcycle, and this is what you should strive for. It's quite simple to understand and imagine. The fact is that your vehicle in the game is subject to elementary laws of physics, such as the force of gravity. This means that the more the weight of the motorcycle presses on a wheel, the more grip this wheel will have on the road. High wheel grip will result in the wheel providing more traction and braking performance. Lack of grip when the wheel has no contact with the surface means loss of control. Due to the fact that the motorcycle is all-wheel drive, we can fine-tune its behavior by shifting the center of gravity and manipulating the grip of the tires. Don't worry if you don't understand anything. Now we will look at the customizable parameters of the motorcycle, and you will see how simple it is. The first parameter is tire pressure. At low pressure we get higher grip and lower responsiveness. In practice this means that with high tire pressure, the motorcycle will respond faster to changes in direction. According to the description, the bike may slip, due to low grip, but I personally did not notice this. Most likely this effect only appears at very high speeds and with a high turning angle value. My tests have shown that tire pressure does not affect the acceleration and braking of the motorcycle, and if it does, it is so small that the effect is almost impossible to notice. That's why I suggest that this parameter is only important for turning speed while driving. Lower tire pressure means smoother turning. I prefer values close to the minimum, and I am satisfied with the results. Gear set of options confuses players the most, so listen very carefully. Vehicles in Undawn have multiple gears. For example my motorcycle only has 4 gears. Previously, we could see how the gears change automatically only by watching the speedometer needle. After the update, the current gear is clearly indicated on the speedometer. The settings in the gears section correspond to your motorcycle's gears, and affect how quickly they shift. If with maximum boost, second gear is engaged at a speed of 65 km, then with the maximum value of top speed, it will engage only at 70. You can see the test results on the screen. The largest difference in acceleration of about 10 km per hour is achieved when shifting to third gear, after which it begins to decrease. As a result, the motorcycle reaches 136 km per hour in the same time. In simple terms, my tests show that shifting all gears to top speed value will give more acceleration and a higher top speed. But remember that only my particular bike was used for these tests. The optimal settings may be different in your case. The pressure parameter is the quality of your motorcycle's handbrake. On a computer it is activated by the space key, and braking occurs only with the rear wheel. The balance parameter is responsible for the position of the center of mass in your bike. As I said earlier, this will affect the grip of the wheels on the road surface. For example if you transfer 100% of the weight to the front wheel, the handbrake will stop working, since the rear wheel will have almost zero grip, and will not be able to significantly influence the behavior of the vehicle. A rear center of mass will make your motorcycle much more agile. In this case you will lose quite a lot of speed during sharp turns, and the stability of the bike will deteriorate. Even visually you can notice a certain sliding effect of the rear wheels. This is why I personally use balanced settings. When it comes to suspension tuning, our goal is to ensure that the tires are in contact with the ground as consistently as possible. As soon as the wheels are torn off the surface, they cease to provide traction and we lose control for this time. Therefore it is beneficial for us to have a moderately stiff suspension. If you make it too soft, the motorcycle will bounce from any bumps like a ball. 
extension limit and compression limits, control how much the shock absorbers will stretch and compress. It is best to use small values for these parameters to avoid unnecessary bouncing of the motorcycle from any curb. Remember that your goal is to keep the wheels in contact with the surface at all times, to maintain control. The maximum turning angle parameter determines how many degrees you can turn the motorcycle's steering wheel. The maximum value will make your bike very maneuverable, but at high speed you risk losing control on any careless turn. Personally I prefer a balanced setting of 40 degrees, which makes turns smoother and more comfortable. Now let's talk about some interesting things which you can do with your bike in Undawn. How about drift? Of course this is not full-fledged drifting but let's say something similar. To make the bike drift, you must transfer 90 to 95% of its weight to the front wheel, and switch the pressure parameter to sucks. It also makes sense to set the turning angle parameter to a high value. This way you can maintain momentum by going into small drifts when cornering. When making sharp turns, you will lose much less speed. But riding on hills will become more difficult, because with any unsuccessful landing there is a risk that the motorcycle will end up on the front wheel. In the process it may spin out and you will lose all speed. You can also become a ghost rider. To do this, you first need to smash your motorcycle to 10% durability to make it burn, because all self-respecting ghost riders only ride broken bikes. After this, you can find any wall with a slope of several degrees and ride up it absolutely unhindered. The physics of the game are so fabulous that even minimal contact with the surface is enough for traction. In this way, on a motorcycle you can reach places where it is impossible to reach in any other way, even on a glider. As for the tuning preset of my motorcycle that I use, you can see it on the screen. These are balanced and versatile settings, suitable for a comfortable ride. By the way this motorcycle is much faster than the Raren Wings, as it accelerates up to 170 km per hour with legendary spare parts. For some reason I was unable to accelerate the Raren Wings to more than 140 km, although according to the logic of the game it should be faster. Perhaps you can do better. When I get a normal car, I will definitely record the second part of the tuning video guide, but for today, that's all. Happy riding survivors and, bye.